in early 2011, Syria's dictator Bashar al-Assad experienced discontent which spiralled into civil war. In the city of Dera, teenagers were tortured by his regime simply for spraying anti-Assad graffiti onto a school wall. Peaceful protesters angered at this were fired upon, igniting further demonstrations met by further oppression. This cycle escalated into a rebellion. Now, after 10 years of destructive war, Assad is close to winning, aided by Iranian and Russian firepower, with Putin pursuing a disgracefully indiscriminate bombing campaign. Britain has rightly condemned the Assad regime throughout this war. However, past British governments licensed the exports for chemicals to Syria, which despite being purchased for seemingly legitimate purposes, were likely diverted towards the regime's production of deadly sarin gas, a gas Assad horrifically uses against his own civilians in Syria's current conflict. Britain has sold chemicals to Syria with this potential as far back as the 1980s. More recently, some licenses were granted for them in the 2000s. A license was authorised as late as 2012 for such chemicals, but thankfully revoked before any product was transported. Yet, this broader picture of recent history shows and demands that our government must do better. The destruction of Syria has been unfathomable. More than half of Syria's pre-war population have fled their homes. More than half. Three nations surrounding Syria have been the ones to bear the brunt of the refugee crisis stemming from this war, hosting 93% of its refugees, one of which is Lebanon, a country already suffering from immense poverty. These facts make it imperative for the EU and Britain to do more. Instead, similar to Yemen, our government has slashed aid to help Syrians.